Hey everyone, Taro Mia here, indie game developer. I'm here to do Let's Play uh, of the Stars Are Right. The story goes as I Cthulhu, I, I, I Cthulhu Cthulhu. Uh, I fully admit I haven't read any of the Cthulhu mythos, so uh, excuse my pronunciation with all these. The mewling pleas of a million voices break the silence of ages. The stars align, their cries grow louder, and those who sleep awake. The Necronoma the Necromonicon? The Necronomicon. The Necronomicon. Seeds with hateful blood filled pages, and Cthulhu in his city of relay, conscience takes I Cthulhu, I I Kapenth Cthulhu, the words prick his ears like a buzz of a fly. But still, through them, the lie has risen, and mankind will die. Um so that's actually a lot simpler than I expected as a storyline, but yeah. Left click to shoot. Piss about it. Uh, music. Could use music. Airstrike incoming. I do like that. That's a really nice um, touch there because, as you can see, you got a bunch of bombs. So one thing that the game does do very well at is it gives you a very nice predict, uh, prediction factor. So when you're like dealing with these, I don't feel like all these attacks are coming all of a sudden or at random. So when I'm not able to shoot them down, I feel like it's my fault, which is a good thing. I'm not really sure what the point of the souls are, I guess it's just more like a point string system. Alright, so there's a long slot of things. Buildings. Yeah, there is. There. Let's just keep raising. Files that the helicopter sends out is a little too small to hit, but that may just be me. There's also the fact that, you know, it's incredibly difficult at this stage. Which I guess is on purpose, it's a very arcadey game, so you're ex it's expected to get harder as it goes along. Oh, darn it, and I died. So, Death sequence, uh, it would have been nice if it says like you died and then a high score will appear there. But you did pull in the high score, which is which is good. Um, I was not able to use a stomp. Is the stomp cooldown supposed to be like really, really long? I'm the, since the um, since the Cthulhu is obviously flying from both of his eyes, I'm just debating about like maybe if that can be used uh, properly. Maybe he can fire in two different directions, for example. I don't know. Usually, when you have like specific elements like that, you want to be able to actually take advantage of this. Oh, I think I found a sweet spot right there. I'm just gonna keep firing going until the helicopter starts appearing. This is just me, but some sort of like audio or visual indication that the rage or heal is available would be really nice. It would at least make it slightly easier. The game, I mean. Okay, 
Okay, the sooner you use the power-ups, the better. It sounds like it feels like. Oh, I didn't heal fast enough. Darn it. Um, so the game is simple. I feel it's a little too simple in my opinion. I think it could use a little more, uh, a little more complexity to it. And I don't think, like, the current heal and rage stuff like that is, um, helping the complexity, so to speak. Then again, maybe I'm not interpreting it correctly because I feel like the rage bar seems to be filling up faster as I run along, but I don't know why. I do like the airstrike. That's a that's a nice touch, though. See, like right now, I feel rather poor because all I'm doing is just hitting at the sweet spot. And then the airstrike happens, which is actually nice. I don't really understand the followers, why uh, the quantity is a little different. So yeah, I, I've already mentioned most of the, the criticisms I had. Uh, on the plus side, it is a simple game. Uh, defiring, I get it. It feels good. That feels good. Um, I kind of want a little animation on when the, you know, things die, but that's, at least you have sound effect in it, which is a, a very effective technique on its own. Um, and that's about it. That's about it. Like, that's really all I had in mind when I was playing this. Still, job well done. I do like its animations. I do like how his, uh, it, with the leg that's supposed to be in the front keeps crossing on top of the one on the back for some reason. That looks a little weird, but hey, you know, it's Cthulhu. He just does whatever he likes to do, so cool. See it.